Hey adventurers, welcome to West Virginia. We have our very first creature of the night right there. If you can see it in that little crevice there, that is a green salamander. This is a species of climbing salamander. It's actually closely related to the arboreal salamanders that we have in California, but they are much more colorful. It's just going to start to rain in a little bit and hopefully that'll bring the salamanders out. So stay tuned and uh, let's get for them. All right, in this little slot, is our second species of the night right in there. It's beautiful. You can see that lovely orange pattern with all of those spots. This is our cave salamander. And of course, that spotted pattern to it is its main field mark with that lovely color. Now, this one is not really cooperating. He's not really out in the open yet. Oh, and he's going further back. So hopefully we'll find another one so that you can see what they look like even better. All right, here is a nice close-up of a big green salamander. Look at that. And he is actually really high up on this cliff face, just climbing on the side. That is what they are known for as climbing salamanders. Look at that. You'll even sometimes find them on trees. They're such good climbers and very adapt to this arboreal lifestyle. Look at that. Tiny little red salamander. These guys are super colorful. Oh, there we are. Look at that. What a beautiful salamander. Now they get much bigger than this. This is just a little juvenile, but just such bright colors on it. And we are only feet away from those green salamanders, and we are really just knocking off a bunch of a uh, bunch of primary uh, or secondary colors here. Nice. We're filming that red salamander. Another species popped up right behind me. Look at this. This is the Cumberland Plateau salamander. This is this guy's pretty big too. He's like same size as, as my index finger, although he is missing a piece of his tail. Now these guys look very similar to uh, slimy salamanders. Uh, they have a similar sort of white speckling to them, but in this particular area, I think that the slimies might be uh, maybe a mile or two away. So don't have to worry about uh, getting the wrong species here, but look, what a cool, cool creature. All right, well our Cumberland Plateau salamander, oh, he's kind of being goofy, but he is running away, but we've got more to find. Where is the next one? A whirly eye salamander. Look at this. Look at that. This is so cool. It looks actually kind of similar to that Cumberland Plateau, but without the spots and a lot smaller, bit skinnier too. Wow, this is so awesome. They, uh, um, they recently split uh, these salamanders into a, a couple different species. So there's some that, there used to be some that have yellow spots and now those are yellow spotted woodland salamanders. But this is so cool, look at him. What a gorgeous looking salamander. I feel like we've hit the full rainbow of possibilities tonight. Who knows, we may even have another color in a little bit, but we are just getting some great variety tonight. All right, I wanna show you just how good of climbers these green salamanders are. Let's zoom in. That is a millipede, but right above it, right there, that is another green salamander. It is pretty high up, and I think there's even a spider that might be chasing after it above it. Yeah, they are just excellent climbers, really substantially Hi, just, it's far up there, but it's pretty cool to be able to see them like that. Well, salamanders aren't the only things that we're finding. This is a lovely American toad. And if you look down at the feet here, you can see all of those nice, um, that pronounced like sort of tuberals, the little warty bumps there. Uh, that's one of the ways that we can tell that this is an American toad and not a father's toad. Um, the venter looks, pretty light, a little bit of spawning. I don't know, it might be hybridized because they tend to do that. These frogs can be a little difficult to differentiate, but I think 
that we're looking at an American toad here and a lovely one at that. All right, this is kind of cool. We have some larval salamanders in the water here. You can see there's that one there just about to move. There's a second one that's uh, a little harder to see. I think it's in that little crevice now, but this one just looks gorgeous. Unfortunately, I don't know what species this is. It does have some good marking on it. Oh, there's the second one underneath it. It's kind of cool. Um, but maybe one of my viewers can help me out and help with the identification. Nice. Oh, look at how big this guy is. This is a spring salamander. Now, one of the, they're nice and sort of reddish and sometimes they're even pink. But if you look at its snout there, those two little grooves are one of our main field marks to identify this between some other things that might be similar. And, uh, and this is a big one here. Let's take a look at it beside my hand. It's basically with the tail, maybe even a little longer than my hand. Really cool. And it just finished eating a worm, which is just incredible to see the, uh, these guys feeding. Just were lucky enough to stumble upon that. Such a cool species. Alright, one more whirly salamander. Again, not a lot of markings on this guy. They're pretty plain, but they have those lovely sort of bluish grays. And he's crawling away. I hope you can see he's regrown his tail there. Although he's not uh, he's not too hidden, he's just on the other side. One more toad on the march. Excellent. There it is. Check it out. Another spring salamander. Aha! This is generally the best way to find them. They are highly aquatic, so there we go. He's out a bit. Put his rock back before I forget. Check that out. Um, it's a good size one, not as big as the one that we saw out in the open, but yeah, coming to little areas like this where there's a lot of water and flipping the rocks is really the best way to find these guys and usually the red salamanders too although we also saw that one out in the open and one of the cool things is we actually flipped this rock earlier and it was all muddy and uh i missed the the flip clip and it, it got underneath and so we left we came back and then he ended up being under that rock again and so this time he wasn't able to disappear and escape excellent to see him and uh, hopefully we'll find even more tonight. One more whirly salamander right down here. It's been easy to identify at this point after seeing a couple, but this spot's got a lot of water and we should be able to find a couple more. And just like that on the rock face, there's another right here. over there. What was that pointing at? A leaf. That's one there. That's one there. <laughs> nice. That's a good looking one. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that one. Right there. This is a leaf. All right, this spot is just great for these whirly salamanders. There's one right there. We got one up and close. Check that out. And then. There's another one there. In fact, there's probably a handful more on all these very moist, uh, these very wet rocks. Um, and I'm just sure that we just haven't spotted them yet, but we'll find them. Look at this. This is another seal salamander. This one's a bit bigger. Nice. And we've got some more even uh, in this lovely sort of waterfall area. Here's a, a nice looking one that's sticking its head out. And uh, there is one more somewhere back in there. So three more seal salamanders for the night, but that, um, that one that was out in the open, there it is. It's definitely a good example of what they can look like. And this uh, dorsum pattern is a little bit more typical, just kind of spotted like that. But uh, these guys are often found along and in water like this so you know if you see big puddles uh on the side of the road from all the the water that's drifting off the side of the rocks it's good to look for uh seal salamanders as long along with other 
there's my neatest um, dusky salamanders. But this is looking excellent. All right, look at that right here, right next to all these salamanders was a green frog. Look at that. This one really does have a nice coppery color. I bet he was in some of the sludge and picked it up from that. Very cool, excellent. Yeah, nice little climber here. Here's another one. So, you know, even uh, when we're finding most of these on the ground, where'd it go? Oh, it jumped down already. There he is. It's important to look both high and low to find all these salamanders. This is really a beautiful area too at this lovely green salamander. It is posed so well, I don't have to bend over and be on the ground to be eye level with this guy. Well, it has been an amazing night. We've seen a lot of different types of salamanders. This green salamander might be one of my favorites with such beautiful colors to it. Anyway, if you like this kind of content, please remember to like and subscribe. I'm Greg Schechter, this is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.